Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, August 28th. It is going to be beautiful today. I'm going to get a bit warm, but this morning was just a beautiful morning. Uh, had a great time with the with the dogs and just getting stuff done out in the yard. Uh, finally replanted the beans and arugula and we'll see how that goes. I, I, I'm a little bit late, about two weeks late with that, but We'll see what happens. You know, sometimes we have a long and protracted fall growing season here, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, spent about two hours out there. Uh, just had a good time. Worked, but it's a good kind of work. So I've got a lot to talk about uh, shop-wise, but I gotta tell you a story about my wife's balloon. And by the way, I've got my pipe-like object today with uh, Haunted Bookshop. So, my wife's birthday was back at the end of July. And her parents sent her a flower arrangement that had a balloon attached to it. And it's like a square mylar balloon, probably about, oh, I don't know, foot and a half by foot and a half. Uh, it's got big smiley face on both sides, and it says happy birthday, and, you know, all kinds of colors and flowers and whatnot. And uh, she loves it. You know, it makes her happy. The smiley face makes her happy. And it's from her mom and dad and all that. So the flowers died, but the balloon stayed stuck up to the ceiling and was, was happily there, and I had forgotten it was there. It's a helium-filled balloon, so it's, it's up to the ceiling. So, the other night, sound asleep, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I hear one of the dogs bark. And my wife also hears one of the dogs bark. Now, the way this goes, and this happens you know, maybe every two, three weeks, something like that, this will happen. It might be because... Isabel usually uh, didn't want to go out uh, before I went to bed. She's lazy like that. Uh, and then she decided in the middle of the night that she had to go out. That's a good thing that she barks for it. It might be that somebody walked by out front or something and spooked them. And, or sometimes Isabel in particular just gets lonely in the middle of the night and wants somebody to pay attention to her. So, so the way this works is I lay there and I think maybe she'll stop. And then my wife wakes up. And my wife will yell, Isabel, go to bed. Sometimes that works. Um, that, you know, when she's just feeling lonely and wants to get some attention, that'll usually do it. Uh, she keeps barking. So I yell, Isabel, go to sleep. Sometimes that works because they respond differently to my voice than to my wife's. When it doesn't work, we start... negotiating because somebody has to go downstairs and the way the negotiations usually go is we'll be quiet for a little while the barking will continue and my wife will say oh I better go and I'll say no 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 I'll, I'll go down and we go back and forth and depending on what night it is she might say oh you got to get up early tomorrow I'll do it in which case I will say okay and go back to sleep <laughs> so this was one of those nights uh, and we do fairly evenly deal with this, so it's not like I'm always shirking the responsibility. But that night, I did have to get up early, and I was tired. So she goes downstairs. She comes back up a short while later. I'm not quite asleep yet. And uh, she says, you're not going to believe what happened. So apparently, the balloon just suddenly decided that it was going to drop from the ceiling and it dropped to about eye level and was just kind of like walking around <laughs> you know following the thermal currents because the air condition is blowing and whatnot and this scared the heck out of the dogs <laughs> it didn't know what it was it was moving around and they were panicked so I said well what did you do did you pop it now she loves the balloons I'm not gonna, I know she's not going to pop it she said no I, I put it in the powder room okay 
I go back to sleep. So, next morning, that morning, because it was 1 o'clock, I get up at 6, the alarm goes off. I get up, not my best, because I did not get as much sleep as I would have liked to. I get out of bed, turn off the alarm, and she sits up. Says, can I jump in the bathroom before you? I'm like, sure. And what I've learned is, um, this is a age thing. While I said sure, I knew that I was not going to be able to wait. Because <laughs> I had a pee. So, I go downstairs. I... <laughs> I get down the steps, the dogs are happy to see me, I let them out, I turn around, I go over to the powder room, and the door's closed, the door's never closed, and if the door's closed, to me, it means somebody's in there, and I'm thinking, well, no, I know my wife's upstairs in the bathroom, so she can't be in there, can't be the dogs, they're out in the yard, and I gotta, I gotta get in there, so, I throw open the door, I flip, flip on the light, and there's the balloon <laughs> standing right there. It scared the living heck out of me. It was just the right size and height for it to be a person coming at me. I tell you, I got the shock of my life. It was... <laughs> from, a, from a birthday balloon. Oh, man. Now, the balloon is still there. Um, it's gotten a little bit closer to the floor. I don't know why we still have the balloon. Again, it's my wife's balloon. I can't do anything about it. But if I do go in to the powder room, for reasons you would have to do so, I push the balloon behind me because I don't... It's got a big smiley face on it. I don't want it to look it at me. You know? And the darn thing kind of like moves around. It keeps kind of trying to get in front of me. And it's I think the balloon's a pervert. Anyway, that's my balloon story. Hope you enjoyed that. So I've been busy down here. I got a lot of stuff done, and I'm really happy. Um, I don't think you can see it. Mm, do I risk this? You can kind of see there, there's a wire shelf up there now. It was not there before. I actually moved that from the other side when I built that Rubbermaid uh, bin storage unit. It was above that, and I want to put tools on top of that. So um, I was really excited about it because I'm thinking more storage space. This is great. It's going to help me clear out. But so far, the only thing up there are uh, a bunch of t tubs of tobacco and... Uh, all my briar is up there. So yeah, I've got to do a better job of uh, using that space. I just haven't quite figured out exactly what I'm going to put there. But I really needed it. Uh, beyond that, I have my dust collector up and running. It's been years since it's, it's run, and it, it purrs like a kitten. So I'm happy about that. I got it all wired in. Um, had to run a line over to where the dust collector is now. I put it under the steps. It's pretty easy. It's on wheels, and it's pretty easy to pull out and access to change bags and stuff. And I don't need to change bags that often. I also have a cyclone attached to it, so it's a trash can with a cyclone lid. That catches most of the big stuff. So the the bag really just holds the fine dust. And, uh, you know, I can pull it out to get to it. So I, I like it being tucked back under the steps like that. I've run a hose... <clears throat> From there over to where my lathe is and to where the standing sanding station is going to be. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I've put together a sanding station that includes my old one-inch belt sander, which I use to make stems. And I've also mounted a motor underneath it for uh, shaping wheels, uh, French wheels, things like that. But it can also take buffing wheels. Um, so very versatile and I wired those together and that's all ready to go. I've got dust collection stuff to attach to it and then I just pipe that in as well as I've got a, I bought a new hood. It's called the Big Gulp 
I think it's called the big gulp. It's a hood that kind of, you can move it around behind the lathe and you can bring it up uh, to the work when you're, when you're sanding on the lathe which is a good thing. I'm, I'm trying really hard to have less sawdust down here, uh, mostly for health reasons. You, know, you don't want to be breathing that stuff in. But when our, uh, we had our furnace serviced a couple months ago, when the guy cleaned it out, he said, you gotta, he, he, he was a woodworker as well, and he saw the, the equipment in my, my dust collector and stuff, and he said, you gotta use that thing because I pulled a lot of sawdust out of that furnace. <laughs> okay, that's not good. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Today I'm going to go pick up a small set of drawers that I want for um, putting uh, sharpening and sanding paraphernalia in. Uh, I was looking for something that you know had four to six drawers in it, was relatively small and compact, and I found it. Um, a local guy selling it online, uh, pretty cheap. I think it's twenty-five dollars. So I'm gonna drive out to see him this afternoon and pick that up. I was hoping for something metal. This is actually a press board thing from a from a dentist office actually. But it'll do this do the it'll do the trick. Do the trick. It'll work. So I'd hope to take a bunch of pictures to show you and Unfortunately, I just didn't have the time, but I'll, I'll maybe maybe next week I'll, I'll give you an update with some pictures. You can see what's going on here, but it's pretty exciting. I'm also thinking about places to mount cameras. Um, cameras, well, yeah, probably more than one. Uh, I'd like to do some, some shop videos. Uh, I know everybody really likes the pipe restoration stuff, and since I'm not doing that anymore, I thought maybe some other woodworking type things would be of interest. Uh, the problem is it just takes so long to put those videos together. And I still do have some lighters that I want to refurbish and uh, make videos on. Michael, the scripto is, is there. It's going to happen, I promise. But I'm thinking you know, maybe, maybe even like live uh, woodworking things or something. I don't know. I'll think about it. But it would be nice to be able to show some some work. <laughs> I know people like to watch that stuff. Well folks, you heard my balloon story, you got an update on the shop. I should probably uh, get moving here because I gotta get ready to to go visit this feller and, and buy some drawers I hope. So with that, we'll finish my coffee and pipe and then hit the road. Hope you all are having a great Sunday. Looking forward to a fantastic week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.